we have now in Zabado is the Quarantine, the quarantine Act, which was promulgated probably around 1950s, and it's obsolete. So we need the, a very modern legislation that will holistically look at control of, the, of infectious diseases, because uh, it, uh, uh, this is the right time to do it. But having said that, we need to engage, uh, engage stakeholders in the, in the value chain. We need to engage all the stakeholders. So there should be input from the populace, input from uh, faith-based organizations, input from, uh, from uh, NGOs and what have you, so that the, 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 uh, the National Assembly can come up with a bill that satisfies uh, the yearnings of, uh, of Nigerians. You don't just wake up one morning and uh, uh, make sweeping laws, uh, empower the NCDC DG to have untrammeled rights. They say that any rights without control will lead to abuse. Right. I've, I've looked at some of the provisions of that uh, act, of that bill, of that proposed bill. Uh, if, it's, if it's going to be passed in the form it is, I would say that it will be one of the most draconian laws ever enacted in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. All right, before I let you go, should, you know, this, the judgment, uh, should it favor the bill? Would, cons what, um, would concern uh, Nigerians have any recourse in the law? I'll say that the judgment, what the judgment uh, uh, has no, like I said, the matter in court, what it can say is that either that the uh, the court may strike out certain clauses in the in the bill uh, that offends the rights of the private rights of uh, of Dini. What I don't even know is whether because that right has not that bill is not yet law, so you can't even say that it has infringed a particular a, a particular right when it is not yet active. That is the argument of lawyers for the for the House of Reps that it is only when the law has been passed. And it has been a, it has been assented to that people can complain that it has infringed their rights. Mm -hmm. But having said that, we are something in law we call you can take action quietly. You can take action because you fear that this thing may, will, is going to infringe infringe your rights. And the major devil in that detail, in the, uh, the major devil in that in that law, is the is the portion that gives the Minister of Health the right to declare any property in Nigeria as an isolation center. They don't have that right. If you check the provisions of the Land Use Act, the provisions of the Land Use Act, which is now a constitutional, by virtue of Section 315, Subsection 5D of the 1999 Constitution, the, the Land Use Act is part and parcel of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that Land Use Act vests all the land within the all the land within the confines of a state on the governor of the states. And the governor is the numero uno when it comes to administration of land within the geographical confines of that particular state. The federal government cannot just come into a, into a Lagos state and say uh, and, and and the minister and the minister of health will say okay this place will be, will be an isolation center. It doesn't even have that right. And if you go to the constitution also uh, 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 the, where, the, where, the gov where, the, where they can even curtail some of those rights is probably right to, to liberty and all whatnot. Because it says that, uh, I think section, section, 30, section 45 empowers the government to make laws, irrespective of the fact that it's going to, uh, we, uh, to make laws with respect to infectious diseases or to pro uh, protect public health, irrespective of the fact that it's going to offend certain aspects of the guaranteed fundamental human rights. All right, Barista. But when you come to... uh, I'm sure there are, there are so many issues around this. We will bring you back again to further help us break this down. But in the interest of time, this is all that we can take. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me.